Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, you may, as you may recall in my last video, I said I'm trying to get a little bit ahead on videos because I'm going to have kind of a weird work week coming up and I'm not sure how much of an opportunity I'm going to have to do vlogs during that week. So this is actually the second video I'm doing of my first day of my long weekend. Uh, today we're going to try and tackle a project that, um, it's stuff that I bought in the past with plans of doing but I never actually got around to installing them. You may recall one of the first projects I did when I got into the house was I replaced some of the sketchy electrical outlets. Well in the comment section somebody said you know you should have replaced a, a couple of those outlets with uh, outlets that are dual outlets and have the USB ports on them. And I said you know what that's a good idea. So I went out and I bought a couple of those about a month or two ago and they've basically just been sitting here waiting to be installed. We're going to install those today. You also remember that about a week ago I uh, bought a, a replacement light switch uh, because that light switch in the living room that controls the light and the ceiling fan is going bad And when you're actually turning on the light sometimes the lights flicker and you can actually hear arcing inside the switch And that's not a good thing. So I re bought a replacement switch for that too, and we're going to install that also So let's get going So here are the parts that we're going to replace today. Like I said, this is uh, I'm going to replace uh, uh, the old receptacles uh, in three different locations one in each of the bedrooms and one out in the living room with these new special USB plug connectors so people can charge their phones off of these too. And, I'm like, and like I said, these are really good ones too. Uh, it's, it's funny because a regular electrical outlet you can get for like two bucks at the hardware store, but these things are expensive. This three pack was like 60 or $70. So there's a lot of money in these things. So the, uh, the, that's why I don't want to replace every outlet. We're just going to replace a couple of them in key locations. And since it's a different shape outlet, I had to buy new face plates also for them. So we got those right there. And then here's that electrical switch that we're going to replace. It controls the fan and the uh, light on the fan because the one on the fan is definitely defective. Yeah, you see what I mean? That shouldn't be making noises like that. So that's definitely got to go. So since this is a light switch that we're going to replace here, um, I placed the replacement there. Um, I think this is the outlet where I'm going to put one of the uh, USB connected plugs uh, in the living room. This is the outlet I'm going to replace in the master bedroom. So we'll put that one there. And then this is going to be the location of the one in the guest bedroom. And I think what I'm going to do in each of the locations where we have one of these is I'm going to build a little shelf that will sit probably here right over the outlet. So people can put their phone, can put their pad, can put whatever it is they're charging on there, plug it in and leave it and it won't be sitting on the floor, or won't get knocked behind anything. Uh, I just think that'll work uh, well and that will be a future woodworking project. So something to look forward to. Now after looking at this outlet, it looks like somebody went over it with paint anyway, so it's probably not that bad an idea that I'm replacing this one. Alright, so we're just going to start by taking the base plate off. That's how it usually starts. That's usually just uh, attached with one screw. Now they'll often pop off, but I've noticed in the past that they've kind of painted right up to the base plate. So it looks like they've kind of glued the base plate to the wall with the paint. So there's a little trick to get these things off and it's just, I usually just take a screwdriver and pop, punch it, punch it slightly and it'll pop right off. Yeah, here's another place where you can see that they just, uh, they went, uh, went right up to the base plates here and you can see what the old color was. Looks like they've never painted anything in here. It looks like this is because it's white underneath there. Interesting. Then we're going to remove the two screws that hold the receptacle into place. Got a little paint in it, so I'm having a little problem getting and getting a grip with the with the driver, but that happens. Fortunately, the uh, new outlets come with their own screws, so won't have to worry about any of that. Sometimes it's just easier to get in there and do it by hand. There we go. glued into place too. 
Okay. All right, and just like uh, with the last outlets, uh, they used outlets where you kind of squeeze uh, the, the wire into the uh, receptacle and then it just kind of latches in there versus ones like this that have actual screws. And they're also daisy chaining through the outlet, which is kind of weird. Uh, I don't think that was actually to code in California, but apparently it is here in Texas. So, um, probably what's going to happen, I'm going to have to cut the wires off. And, uh, but fortunately there's spots for two wires here, so I can, I can still make this work. All right, so we got the old uh, receptacle off. I, like I said, I just cut it off. It's a lot easier than trying to see if it's even possible. It's, you know, you often can't do this. You pull those out. So sometimes the best thing, especially if you have long enough wire that you can actually, you know, still have wire to work with, uh, you know, it makes sense just to cut it off. So next thing I want to do is I want to strip the uh, wire here and it looks like I can go, and we're going to probably go about three eighths of an inch off of each one of these. So I got this nice little uh, uh, wire stripping tool here and this kind of makes the job go quick. So sometimes it's a little harder to film these things when you're installing them. So basically what I've done now is, I just, like I said, I stripped the wire on the black and on the silver and there's just a little plate behind the screw. I've slipped the, the wires between the behind the plate and then crimped it down with the, with the uh, screwdriver. Uh, I still got to connect the ground cable which is right here but that just uh, screws onto this little green plug underneath here, green screw underneath, so that's easy. All right, so now I've got everything connected correctly, I believe, but we have to test our work first. And uh, so I've got this handy dandy little uh, uh, circuit checker. Basically you just plug it in. And if these two yellow lights here come on, then the circuit is wired correctly. And if that works, then the USB port should work too. But I also brought my cell phone in here and we're gonna plug that into it just to make sure that works. So we'll start with this, pop it in there. And yep, it definitely, uh, the right lights are lit up, the, the two yellow ones, uh, any, any other combination is a problem. So, uh, you know, this is a very ha helpful thing to have if you got an electric, if you're going to replace an outlet, it's a good way to test it, make sure it works. If you got problems with the outlet, it's also a good way to diagnose with the problems. Because by knowing what the individual uh, light combinations are, it'll tell you what the problem is. So. That works. Let's move on to the next one here. Let's plug the phone into this. All right, so let's plug the phone in, see if that works. That's encouraging, the phone's charging. Check the other one. I mean, it should work too, because that's all internal. I don't have to do anything with that. But yep, phone works. So let's let's uh, plug this whole thing back up, uh, re-screw it into place, and put the cover on, and move on to the next one. Okay, well, this is interesting. We've run into a little bit of a setback. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this project because it turns out this receptacle is too big to fit into that breakout box. I'm trying to fit it in there and it won't go in. It's just, it's too, too wide side to side. So not only do I not have a USB plug in here and I'm gonna have to check and make sure it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be the same everywhere else in the house. Um, I. Don't even have a functioning outlet right now because I had to cut this one out. So, um, yeah, well, that's one of those things that happens here. So, anyway, I'm going to go look at the other two outlets, see if they're the same size breakout boxes. And if so, you know, we're not going to be able to do that. But I should still be able to put that light switch in. So, we'll go try that. Oops. Don't let anyone ever tell you that this vlog is fake or scripted in any way. Yep, all the breakout boxes are the same size, so that part of the project isn't going to work today. That's a bummer. Spent a lot of money on those plugs. Maybe I can get my money back. Uh, but we can still replace this light switch because this should be the same size. Yeah, even the breakout boxes on the light switches, they're a little on the small side. That's weird. I've never seen them that small before. Usually they're a little bit larger than that, so you can accommodate something like that. I didn't even think to look. But, yeah, another case too where you can see what the color was uh, by just taking the faceplate off. So, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to remove 
this screw and this screw and then I can pull the whole thing out now there's gonna be a couple of uh, sets of wires because there's obviously this is two switches so there's gonna be a pair of wires for each of the switches and so we'll just have to keep an eye on that and make sure we don't get them mixed up so once again we're just gonna remove the uh, the screws actually this one was loose that shouldn't be Okay, so it looks like that it got a common and two uh, and two outputs. I guess that makes sense. That's all you really need. You don't need to run two line, two power lines to it. So let's see if that's what we have in our replacement here. No, this one's a little different here, but I'm going to examine them. It's probably closer than I think. They've got some. Uh, tape around there so maybe there is another yeah I bet you there is I bet you we're we're good to go here I'm gonna actually mark those a little bit so I know what's what all right now I get the tape off of this I can see that this is clear this same kind of setup it looks a little bit different but this is this side so this is the supply side and uh, in both cases uh, this screw and this and this screw here are tied together so you can connect to you can either break this piece off here and have them separate supplies or you leave that thing on there and this thing and this thing are connected and this works the same way and then it's the same on the other side it's just one uh, one uh, source for uh, for each uh, uh, electrical so, uh, appliance so one for the light and one for the uh, fan so I'm just gonna kind of tape the wires here just so I don't get them confused because they're all black in here so it's really hard to tell what's what once you get it disconnected. Hey, I never said my writing would be legible. All right, so now before you go any further and button everything back up again, you're gonna wanna uh, power up and make sure that all of the switches work correctly. So let's check this out. Top one should be the light. And that seems to work and the other one is the fan the fan is off right now so let's flip that switch to on and the fan should be on and yep we are functional so let's button this thing up and uh we should be done with our project today at least this part of it so there we go we got everything back together now uh looks just like normal now um i'll actually get in there and we'll clean up that uh painting mess when we paint in here for real but Right now everything's working, the light works, and the fan works, and that's kind of what I wanted to get us to. So uh, that is all that I think I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.